Hey guys, what's up? This week, we're taking a break from talking about investments, and we're gonna step back a little. We're gonna talk about something a little bit more fundamental, and we're gonna be talking about checkbooks. With the advent of mobile banking and online transfers, is this thing still relevant? It seems pretty odd to me that in a world where we're all digitized and going paperless, we're sticking to these things as valid forms of payment. I've seen the payments landscape change drastically, especially during this time of the pandemic. So amidst this digitized world, where there are so many apps, there's crypto, there's trading, is a checkbook still relevant? Let's find out. I've heard it before, nothing quite represents adulting like having a checkbook. And trust me, I've been adulting in the last 15 years, and I've always found a checkbook handy. For me, there are three main things that you use a checkbook for. First and probably most common reason would be for rent. I've rented a handful of condominiums throughout the years, and the number one requirement would always be post dated checks. I know in other countries you just have to give your advance and your deposit, but in the Philippines it's been quite the norm to require renters to provide post dated checks throughout the whole term of the contract. So if you've wanted to move out and get your own place, Having a checkbook to pay your monthly rent is definitely needed. And number two, the second most common reason for using a check would be for your investments or for your down payments. Yes, I know that for investments, you can do direct transfers now through the investment facility that your bank app is extending to you. So you probably don't need the checkbook anymore for making investments in stocks or UITFs and mutual funds, but you might still need a check for paying for your insurance for your car down payment, or if you've decided to invest in real estate, your down payment or monthly terms of payment would probably have to be paid via check. And number three, the third instance where you would probably need a check are instances wherein you need to prepare a big amount and having the cash or an automatic transfer is too risky. Maybe it's paying your interior designer, maybe it's paying a hitman to take care of your business. I'm just kidding. So generally, when you have to prepare a big amount, then you would still probably need a check. So in my personal view, even if we can do all these online transfers now, and it's so much easier to go cashless, I really think that a check is very handy, and it's even more important now. Why do I say that? Well, let's go to the design of a check. Basically, you write the name of the recipient, you write the amount, and the amount in words, and the date, and you sign off. It's quite simple, right? And isn't it great that you can write practically whatever amount and that already corresponds to the needed money? For me, using checks are really all about security because you're able to personalize the check. It's only the designated recipient that could encash this or deposit this into his or her account as long as you don't make the check payable to cash. Then you're actually in good hands if a check is lost, if it gets in the wrong hands, a check is only good and valid in the hands of the right recipient and at the designated date that it's been prepared for. For me, the great thing about checks is that it is a form of payment, but it is not an actual payment until cleared. So as old school as it is, paying with a check is pretty much a contract between you as the payer and the other party for whatever service that's been rendered or will be rendered. The preparation of the check means that you are promising to pay and even as the check has been received by the recipient, as long as the check hasn't been deposited and cleared, the payment hasn't fully been consummated. I guess the thing here is if there are any problems, for some reason the recipient fails to deliver, you can still probably work something out. Perhaps you can ask for the return of the check. Of course, you as the account holder are already committed and have promised to pay the recipient but again, until it is deposited and cleared, the dealing between you two has not yet been fully exchanged. Yes, there are repercussions on how to use a check. Of course, you can't keep going back on your checks or trying to cancel them or holding them. But the thing is for me, it's still a safer form of payment rather than doing an immediate bank transfer wherein once you do a transfer, that's done. If the person runs on you, if the service hasn't been fulfilled and you've been scammed, then that's it there's really no going back to it. But again, a check is something that the person can hold on to, and the check also represents your promise to pay. 
So for me, until apps can actually replicate this sort of um, escrow system wherein payments are only done once both parties are happy, then checks are still very important, especially for big amounts. And it's even more important now because there are so much scams online, people selling goods that, that they don't have possession of. It can get really tricky, and there are so many scams left and right. Of course, paying by check is still not foolproof. You still have to do your due diligence. Are checks still relevant? Definitely, definitely yes. I still think that right now, there is no technology out there that could replace this system. I'm sure in the near future, there's going to be something that would replace checks. For now, and in the near future, I think checks are here to stay. And if you don't have one yet, I think it's about time you also open a checking account. Once you've gotten the ease and security of checkbox, I think you would agree with me that there's nothing quite like it. There are links below on how you can sign up for a checking account yourself. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. What do you think? Do you agree with me that checks are still essential? I definitely think so. Thanks again and see you next time.